Close to 900 inmates and growing inside the Department of Corrections prison. I have said it's a dangerous situation, continues to be a dangerous situation. The problem getting so bad that even the inmates are backing the calls made by DOC staff for the government to help do something about the aging facilities. While sending some inmates to Saipan's prison is being explored, releasing certain prisoners is another option debated. When you hear emergency release, I know victims out there, oh, um, uh, how would that how would that look like if it was indicated in a statute, right? And well, Senator well, tell Tello, us how would it look? How would, who, would, who would you want to release? Well, we would certainly want to look at individuals that, um, nonviolent, of course, right? They couldn't afford the bail, right? And um, um, they're in for a, a, a drug use, nonviolent offense. DOC has a master plan in place, waiting for Public Works and the Economic Development Authority to move the project forward. I'm looking for a silver lining here. I don't, I don't see one. DOC Major Anton Uggen says ultimately they need a new prison now. We're just kicking the can down the street, but somewhere down the line we're going to have to pick it up. And by the time we start picking it up, there's a lot more cans. And so, you know, what can we do? We're at the bottom of the pole. We're, we're at the bottom of the food chain. We don't pick and choose who comes to our department. We don't ask them to come. We have no advertisement budget. We spend no money on marketing. We're not encouraging people to come to our prison. They show up at our door. Here we are with medical problems and all. And we take them in and we have to care for them. Senators were also briefed on prison contraband and prisoner escapes.